What's up guys? Welcome back to Skull and Bones. Thanks for joining me. I don't have much of a plan. I think what I'm going to do is get some new weapon blueprints and complete this infamy quest, which is... Hoist the Mizen? Mizen? I don't know how to say that, but it's 400 infamy and it looks like all we have to do is sail to Taloc and turn it in. That's an easy 400. And while we're in Taloc, we can get a couple new weapon blueprints for the ship. So we can upgrade the Bombard 2 to level 3 and get the center weapon. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I think they're rockets. I'll show you right here. So in here... Quick. You must enjoy my surly company then. So here's the... No, wait. Is that right? No. This one... The Bombard 3 is in Taloc, so we can get that blueprint. And then for the center weapon, I was thinking... Pro wait, where are the rockets at? Probably these. Because they do burning damage. Pretty decent amount of damage. The reload time is awful, but we can use this as like the initial Following first strike. And then switch to the Bombard. Um, I don't know where this is. We'll eventually find it. But I think right now we're just going to stick with the Rocket 1. It's either that or the Fire Bombard. Or, I'm sorry, the Leopold. But it's... Flooding would be good, but it's Blast Damage. And I don't know if that turns into Fire Damage. I don't think it does. Not entirely sure. But I think we're going to stick with the rockets. So we'll do that. And then Fire Bombard 3 is also in Taloc. Uh, right here. So I guess what we'll do is... We can actually just... We move. Okay, here's is this to lock. That's the that's the pirate's bonfire. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, right here. This is where we need to go. So we're gonna head here. Turn that in and get those blueprints. All right, submit. Easy four hundred infamy. All right, so now we've. We need to find the merchant. Hey, another round here. Well, I mean, we're here, and it looks like the main quest is here. Somewhere. Might as well get that too, right? Our Laksamana is fierce, but Rama's residence. Enter. Enter, please. At ease, pirate. Well, I suppose you pirates are always at ease. From the stories my officers told me, I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought maybe you spat fire and had more teeth than Rangda herself. One more pirate stranded on our shores who believes that with grit and appetite they can carve out a small empire for themselves. I hope so. With me, you have a better chance. That is certain. I'm Admiral Rama, from the capital. Grew up with Sultana Hariati. Being part of the courts of Rempa, I learned one thing. When men from one empire build on the concessions of another, they get a doomed country. It's them on top, men, blocks of unchanging stone. If we let them, they'll sink us. That's why you stand before me. My officers say you can help tear us free from their rules. Pirates don't wait for royals to hand them chicken feet. They take the whole bird without ceremony. The dawn of war. Holy crap, 850 infamy. Admiral Rama's failed coup de et 
Tat. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that word. Led to her being exiled to Talak. Penajara. And the capture of Sultan. Oh my god, these words. Deliver Rama's message to get information on the Sultana's whereabouts. Well, okay. Baiklah. I'm happy to see you are hungry for this uh, business of war. I've been pushed here to uh, Telok Penjara reluctantly. Didn't have much choice. I had to survive. Consequences of a failed coup d'etat. The Dutch and the Rempa are branding me a traitor. I tried to replace the Sultan with his wife. Despite her skills and guts, she's still not a man in the court's eyes. This weak leader serves both them and the Dutch, but not the people. I defied them with my dagger. A mistake. But violence is sometimes the only option we have to bring about change, isn't it? I guess it is. I don't know. Cannonballs can be very persuasive. I prefer a less direct approach. Approach. Um. Well, I mean, this is true. Cannonballs are persuasive. Cannonballs are eloquent. Their voices do not require interpretation. This world is full of pretense, and I don't intend to curtsy my way back in. The Dutch hold the Sultana prisoner. And I doubt words will change their minds. My navy is wounded, but my spies are still active. Head to Lada on my behalf. I have something to loosen tongues. They will tell us where the Sultana is held. Contract accepted, the dawn of war. Most of the time, my friends do not return. But you, I think I'll see you again. Yeah, probably. Deliver Rama's message. Alright, well, first I need to find the merchants so I can start buying some stuff. Get those blueprints. The Admiral didn't got you? She must like you very much. Blacksmith's cake. We're just taking everything, I guess. These so-called Dutch captains don't deserve their weapons. Take them. I will put them in proper hands. Blacksmith's cake. Well, I mean, we'll have shit to do in the future, I guess. All right, let's see. Craft. Or, I'm sorry, buy. We need... I think that's it. Yeah, this is the one. 3300. Shit. Well, we need it, so. Can we actually build one, though? That's the thing. Do we have. Oh, uh, we're not gonna have zinc ingot. Always keep your blades sharp. Craft new items. Let's see, can we actually do this? Not enough silver. God damn it. Or zinc or juniper. I'm starting to like you. Let's uh change that. We're gonna do Enter Smuggler's Hideout at Talak. Kinda wanted to do that. Deliver Rama's message. We are here right now, though. 400 infamy just for walking inside of a building? Alright. The there it is. Watch out for a big fish. Uh, enter. Enter? There we go. Yanita makes grog, which suits her common temperament. My tastes are more refined. Here we turn poppy seed into opium. Not 
just any opium. We make blue lotus. It's pure as a summer dream and the sweetest passage in the Indian Ocean. It washes away trouble and dulls pain. With your kind here, there's a lot of both going around, so business is good. We can help make improvements to your smuggling operations, Captain. For a fee, the helm provides business opportunities and licenses to secure different types of contraband and greater profits. The smoke must flow freely to the masses. We're here to assist you with your first investment. The laboratory. Refine your poppy to produce blue lotus opium and stock up for upcoming orders. Use the refinement time wisely to gather more poppy or deliver your product. Mega Corpse guarding large stocks. Great opportunity for you, but quite dangerous to do alone. Mm hmm. Okay. We only have six spice and 16 co cocoa. Yeah. Oops, sorry. We're not going to be doing this right now. We can either sail here or go here. No, we're just going to sail because I'm running out of silver. All right, we made it. It's not a port, so we can't do any fast traveling or anything from here, but we can turn this in. 850 infamy. Captain, the note speaks of the traitors sailing aboard the Pride of Holland. If they would stop singing. So I'm not sure what the hell just happened. Do we do not do it? We have to go all the way back? Okay. Well, shit. Alright, I'll meet you there. Alright, we're in the peninsula. I wonder if... Could it be a shipwreck? Oh, tuck. Uh... The hell is that? Brigantine. Oh, that's a player, isn't it? I think so. Oh, what the hell is that behind us? Pride of Holland. That's what we need. Don't you dare kill it, you fuck. Oh, come on. Go faster, go faster, go faster. We gotta catch it. Damn it. Oh, we got it. Just barely. <laughs> Return the damning letter to Rama. All right. Well, that was easy. The hardest part was looking for the damn ship. I think it just randomly spawned, though. Piss everyone off, I think. 
Probably. Yeah, they're not happy. This is such a daunting task with this uh -oh. tools. Don't do it. Don't you Let's do it. Oh no! Oi, get some grub in your belly. Level ten. That's not a good thing. Go faster! Come on, go faster! We are so boned. No, don't harvest, stupid go. What are you harvesting for, fucker? Enemy attacking us! Position! Oh shit. Holy crap, guys, that was brutal. We don't have the armor for something like that. I mean if if we were able to take a couple more blows, then we probably could have done some damage, but I mean shit, after like three hits we were done for. Anyway, we made it back to the lock, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's go turn this stuff in. I dream often of what I would do with the animal. Heard you were flitting across the waves in the Bariwakan. Apparently even the moonbeams can't get you. No, they caught me. They caught me twice, actually. I was trying to get my stuff back. Okay, submit. The Dawn of War, 850 infamy. So it is. From the work you've shown me, the Sultana was betrayed by one of our own. The little snake grew up in her care and dragged her belly across the dirt to the DMC. But I hear you exceeded yourself. The bribe is delivered. And on top of that, the man is feeding maggots now. You've seen how far the DMC have spread. The ghost is festering with them. <laughs> it's a miracle they haven't conquered our damn Gunung Berapi. How can I push them off our land if the Orangkaya keep feeding them loads out of spices and escape routes? Get rid of the Orangkaya. Steal the spices back from the Dutch. I don't know. How about that? Pushing us of those court ministers is precisely my intention. This letter says the courts will welcome the Dutch at the palace, in plain sight. I should be at that negotiating table. But for now, I can only rebuild my army. I must learn about the meeting. But there are other jobs waiting for you, Captain. You can make maggots happy again. Happy maggots. Okay. So we got 850 infamy, we got a bunch of silver. Blue moon bribes. 900. All right, we're going to take that. I guess you don't mind being the bearer of bad news. Let's talk. I haven't been cynical enough today. Because of your work, now I know my usurpers are meeting the DMC generals in the capital. A brazen display of treachery. Let's teach the Dutch some humility. They will push you as far as you let them. I think we should teach the Dutch. I agree. If a cockroach dares scuttle across the floor in the light of day, it must be crushed. You see this ugly thing? A soldier of mine stole this figurehead from a Dutch ship. This is a reminder of the crushing weight of the DMC on my people. 
One day, I'll throw this piece of garbage straight into the ocean. You and I, we are beyond fear. I thought everyone wanted to fight for freedom. But no. All this talk with the DNC has lulled my people to sleep. They think Rempa is their friend. They think its people are docile. What they know of our people is only Suang Chung Kuku. Enough with this Musli Ha. Let's make some noise and see who wakes up. Blue Moon Bribes. You two have sailed with the Padua. Nah, we don't need to listen to her story about the boat. Inga, don't chase fleeting treasures. A real pirate sets their sights on empires. All right, we got our next mission. Blue Moon Bribes. Plunder the Lumberyard for information on the Rampa Trader. Stage 2 Plunder. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're doing a little bit of progression in the game. It seems like the infamy stuff has a bit of a story background. I'm not sure if it's an interesting story, but it is a story nonetheless. Anyway, again, thanks for joining me. This is Wild Pop Gaming, and I will catch you in the next one.